There are many reasons for differences in life expectancy. That is, the average age that people live to. But one of the most important secrets to a long life is food. Having enough food and eating the right food. We all know it's not always easy to eat well. We have busy lives. Nowadays, a lot of people don't cook traditional food at home. Fast food is quick and cheap everywhere. But a bad diet can reduce your life expectancy by many years. So, do you think you have a healthy diet? I think I have a healthy diet. 80% um, of the time, I eat whole foods, home-cooked food, meat, vegetables. I don't like much junk food or much processed food. I feel I've, I have a balanced diet, um, but you could always eat more fruit and vegetables. Not so healthy. I eat a lot of sugar, so um, sugar is not very good for you. I do not have a healthy diet at all. I like cheeseburgers. I like bad food. Do you think some countries have a better diet than other countries? A country that has the healthiest diet, I'd probably think the Mediterranean countries, places like Italy and France and Spain, they eat a lot of, of locally produced food, food. I believe that the countries which have the healthiest diet are places such as Spain, Portugal, Italy. This is because of their reliance on things like olive oil and fish. I'm not too sure. I've I've been to Japan before and they seem to ha eat a lot of fish um, and you know oily foods. I think they have a very healthy diet. Well I spent a lot of time in Spain and I think they have a very healthy diet. They, um, they eat a lot of natural food, they eat a lot of vegetable, they eat a lot of fresh fish, it's all fresh food. Um, so I always felt very healthy when I was in Spain. In the United States, the average life expectancy is only 78 years. A lot of traditional American food isn't very healthy. Often there's a lot of fried food and meat, and there aren't many fresh vegetables or salad. But luckily, in cities like New York, there are lots of places to eat and drink where you can find the most delicious food from around the world. At over 81 years, the average life expectancy in Italy is one of the highest in the world. And food is one of the most important parts of Italian culture. And when Italians move to other countries, they take their food with them. New York is full of Italian restaurants. Italian food is a great example of the Mediterranean diet, a diet that is one of the healthiest in the world. This is PJ Charlton, an Italian restaurant on Charlton Street in Greenwich Village, New York. Phil Mucchino opened the restaurant in 1979. The area around the restaurant has changed a lot in 30 years, but PJ Charlton still serves fabulous Italian cuisine to residents and visitors to the city from around the world. So what is it that makes Italian food so healthy? The heart of any good Italian cuisine begins with garlic, onions, and olive oil. And uh, once uh, you begin with that and you introduce the great San Marzano tomatoes, you begin to create a marinara sauce. Your greens, uh, I like to refer to all of those greens as captured sunlight. It's basically uh, uh, all of the vegetables that you can think of uh, with a little bit of garlic and oil. In addition to that, uh, when you talk about pasta, it's nothing more than flour and eggs. What could be more uh, simple than that, more healthy, and more nutritious? Uh, some of the pastas that we use here at the restaurant are linguine, spaghetti, and we have rigatoni, penne, 
and then we have the cannelloni, and we have ravioli, and we have uh, what we call the stuffed pastas. How do you cook the food? Uh, we saute many of our vegetables, and we uh, broil many of our meats and poultry. We don't fry. We try to stay away from the frying process uh, because it's not that healthy for you. When my customers come in and they greet me and they're happy and they sit and they tell one another, this is the best kept secret in New York City. It makes me feel very, very good. I love doing what I do. I've been doing it for 32 years. I feel that watching my customers eat my food, get healthy, stay happy is what I love to do. The Mediterranean diet isn't just good for you because of the healthy ingredients. Eating a healthy Mediterranean diet is about eating delicious food together. And most of all, it's about enjoying your food. The longest life expectancy in the world is in Japan. Life expectancy for women in Japan is over 86 years old. And one of the secrets to the long lives of the Japanese is their traditional diet. The traditional Japanese diet is very healthy. And today, Japanese food is popular around the world. Jing Chen is the manager of Miraku, a Japanese restaurant in Long Island, New York. So what is it that makes Japanese food so healthy? Japanese people live a very long life, and I think that's mainly due to their diet of eating a lot of fish. Um, the fish have omega-3, uh, which is good for the body. What ingredients are popular in Japanese food? Some of the key ingredients in Japanese cuisine are rice, fish, seaweed, and soy. How do you cook the food? There's grilling, uh, there's sautéing, um, there's braising. What about Jing? What's her favorite meal? I love Japanese food. Um, the ingredients are very fresh because it focuses on seasonality. Sushi is really unique to Japanese cuisine. Um, there's no other cuisine that uses raw fish. Um, raw fish tastes really, really great. Um, it has a lot of you know, natural flavors and it's also very, very healthy. Like the Mediterranean diet, the Japanese diet isn't good for you just because of the healthy ingredients. It's about a different way of eating. Japanese food looks beautiful. There are a lot of small dishes and a lot of variety. People eat slowly, and they eat less food. But everything tastes amazing.